horses are coming onto the track up at the top of the stretch for DeCoin's ninth race, featuring win, place, show, and exact a wagering. Win play show exact a trifecta wagering on race nine and elimination of the first lady. And again, the top five will come back for Saturday's $50,000 final. No scratches, no driver changes in the ninth. Let's meet the starters. Number one is Red Hot Lady, owned by Dr. Kenneth and Patricia Walker's Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, trained and driven by Michael Cox. Number two, Arts Determination, owned by John and James Limparis of Palos Park and Naperville, Illinois, trained by Teresa Ledford, the driver Del Chupp. Number three, Unspeakable Joy, is owned by Perry Smith of Crete, by Margot Langley of Frankfurt, and by Whack the Bush Stable, trained by Perry Smith. The driver is Ron Marsh. Number four, Arts Fiddle, is owned by Ralph and Margaret Hawkins of Chino Hills, California, trained by Roy Saul. Neil Coleman in the bike. Number five, look at those legs. Owned by Paula Smith of Valparaiso, Indiana. By James Runyon of Lake Villa, Illinois. Trained by Indiana native Joel Smith. The driver, Dave McGee. Number six is Hop Art. Owned by Marty Engel of Buffalo Grove. And by Rucker Stable Incorporated of Beecher, Illinois. Trained by Ken Rucker. The driver, Dale Heitman. And number seven, Jan's Julie Two, owned by Harvey Eisman of Flint, Michigan. Irvin Miller trains, Andy Miller will drive. Three minutes till post on this trifecta race, only three minutes. They are off and pacing. Look at those legs. Fires out for the early lead. Red Hot Lady comes away second, and Arts Determination is out third. Look at those legs. Gets the lead. Gets over next to the rail, leading it by just over a length. Red Hot Lady goes second. Arts Determination third. They all settle single file. Unspeakable Joy is fourth. Hop Art is fifth. Arts Fiddle is next, and Jan's Julie, too, is last as they go by the quarter mile station. Look at those legs. Leads it by a length. Red Hot Lady is second. 29 and 2 the time for the opening quarter no one stepping out of line arts determination goes third up the back stretch then unspeakable joy hop art arts fiddle and jan's julie two is now moving from last but still six lengths off the lead approaching the half look at those legs leads it a length the red hot lady arts determination now unspeakable joy on the outside with a rush from fourth to the lead in an instant unspeakable joy Takes over by a length and a half at the half mile mark. Look at those legs second, Red Hot Lady third. Jan's Julie two moves up fourth on the outside. The half in a minute, two fifths. Unspeakable Joy moves up, and no wonder she made that move off a leisurely second quarter as they move around that final turn. Unspeakable Joy leads it by a length. Jan's Julie two second, a half length. Look at those legs. His third, Art Spittle, moves up on the outside in fourth around Red Hot Lady, and then Hop Art. And Arts Determination last five lengths from front to back. Past the three quarters, Unspeakable Joy leads it three parts of a length to Jan's Julie Two, who's second, 129 and three at the three quarters. Arts Fiddle swings wide off the turn. Look at those legs, is back toward the rail. Then Red Hot Lady, who tries to get shook loose, but she's behind a wall of horses into the final eighth mile. Unspeakable Joy leading. Look at those legs. Red Hot Lady toward the rail is third, then Arts Fiddle and Jan's Julie Two. Unspeakable Joy chased by Look at those legs. Unspeakable Joy, look at those legs. Oh, it's a photo finish for the win. Photo for the win at DuCoin. Either look at those legs or unspeakable joy. They were followed by Red Hot Lady, who was third in 157 and 2. Number five, look at those legs, owned by Paula Smith of Valparaiso, Indiana, and by James Runyon of Lake Villa, Illinois. Trained by Joel Smith, the driver Dave McGee, 157 and 2, a new lifetime record for this Sportsmaster Philly, the result official, 5314 on DuCoin's ninth.
Ladies and gentlemen, into the winner's circle, how about a hand once again for number five? Look at those legs. Dave McGee, the winning driver. Five three exact to twenty dollars even. We'll have the trifecta in just a moment for that ninth race. Let's get a word with Dave McGee, our winning driver. Dave, look at those legs turning for home. I know that uh, the favorite had to kind of brush to get to the front of the half, but still off three quarters and 129 and three. I wasn't sure if you guys would be able to catch her. Were you surprised by your Phillies effort coming down the stretch? Well, not really. This Philly had things pretty soft in the early uh, stages of the race, and uh, uh, Ronnie's Philly is uh, more of a come from behind horse, and uh, I don't know. I thought maybe we could get her. I didn't know, though. And indeed you did. Dave, you've won a lot of races here at DeCoin. We're going to ask you what we asked some of the other drivers. You've driven a lot of parimutuel raceways. First time we've ever raced under the lights of DeCoin. From our vantage point on the infield, the lighting looks great. How about it from your vantage point as a driver? Oh, yeah, this is really nice. Uh, I've raced at a lot of tracks that weren't as well lit, and the track surface is fantastic. And, uh, yeah, it's really nice here. An endorsement from Dave McGee for both the racetrack and the lighting system. Folks, another hand for our winning driver, Dave McGee.